Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Abria Perry. Welcome back, welcome to. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss any of the fun. But today we're gonna be doing my current favorites. This is gonna be my July favorites video, my first favorites video. And I'm so, so excited to be sharing it with you all. So without further ado, let's just get into the favorites. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love skincare so much. I Makeup and skincare might be like a tie <laughs> in my life. Um, I am a firm believer that if you take really, really, really good care of your skin, you could pretty much like have as much fun as you want with your makeup with a little bit less work because you know you're not having to cover up as much you can pretty much just if you're just starting on a nice like fresh even canvas you know what I mean I'm not saying that I always take amazing care of my skin but I try to <laughs> so skincare this is the clean and clear deep action 60 second shower mask and it is oil free it is a steam activated refreshing deep clean Y'all, y'all, <laughs> this mask has been saving my behind. I am a sweaty Betty. My face, when I work out, oh my God, just a mess. Just an absolute mess. You know, I'm putting things in my edges. I have hair products in. I have long sideburns. <laughs> Sometimes I will sweat and my hair products will get on my face. So on top of already sweating, like, you know, when you sweat, obviously the oils and the dirt and things that are on your face are just kind of like rubbing all over the place. So the regular sweat mixed with like the hair products mixed with like me touching things at the gym and then maybe touching my face was just a no-go for me I was like I am NOT about to spend the summer with all these sweat breakouts it's just not for me I do other masks and I do other kind of treatments, and um, I am gonna do a skincare video for you guys so when I do that I'll definitely go over all of that but who has the time I don't have the time I don't know if y'all have the time but I don't have the time every day to be mixing up the mask to be sitting there with the mask sometimes after work, after the gym, after doing whatever else I need to do. I'm just trying to take a shower and do the bare minimum of my skincare routine so that I can avoid looking like a pepperoni pizza and just go on with my life. But this joint, it is 60 seconds. I keep it on for a little bit longer than that, but 60 seconds minimum. You put it on when you're in the shower and you do F. Did y'all, I just, anyway. <laughs> You put this on when you're in the shower and do whatever it is that you're gonna do and then rinse it off and you're good to go. So typically what I do with this mask is before I get in the shower, I'll you know wash my face, do my whole like wash routine. You put this on after you wash your face, apply it to clean skin, um, put a very thin layer, and once you're in the shower, it, it literally is just what it says. It's steam activated. The thing you have to do with this is put it on in the shower real quick and go on and do things that you're already gonna do. This has really, really, really been helping me with the sweat breakout. So if you are someone who works out a lot or you're a naturally like sweaty Betty or around your face and things when you work out or whatever, like me, and you're looking for something to help combat those sweat breakouts, I would definitely suggest that. Obviously. So, went to makeup. That's my happy day. <laughs> okay, on to makeup. This first makeup thing is like very out of my comfort zone. It is a foundation. I am not the biggest foundation person because like I told you guys, I really am really into skincare. Skincare makes me so happy. But this foundation is probably one of the best ones that I've ever tried for me in particular. I don't really know what kind of skin I have. <laughs> I don't necessarily, my skin, I guess it would kind of be combination because it's not necessarily oily, not necessarily like super dry. I guess it's kind of in between. I don't 
really have, I don't have many like times where I'm like, oh my god, my face is so oily, or many times when I feel like my face is like so dry. So I guess it's kind of neutral. My biggest issue I said would be like my sweat breakout. So I can't necessarily say that this foundation is good for oily skin or good for dry skin. I actually picked this product up last year. I went to MAC and got my makeup done and she used this foundation on me. It looks so good. All my pictures look so, so good. And I was nervous about her putting foundation on me because I always felt like I just look weird with foundation. I'm not for it. I just really like to use like concealer and highlight. And then I'll just use maybe a powder that's close to my complexion. But this foundation is like a second skin. I have it on right now. It's probably one of the like most liquid foundations I've ever seen. It's not thick. It it's not what's the word? Viscosity. <laughs> I can remember that from like science in like seventh grade. Viscosity, I think that's like the thickness of something. I don't know. Somebody tell me if I'm wrong. But it's not thick at all. It's very watery. It's water weight, just like it says. So it has an eyedropper and you know that's what you use to apply the foundation so I like to put like a drop here drop here drop here and a drop here I usually just blend it in with either my beauty blender or my um, hands I've also used my like real te real techniques of buffing brush a few times and honestly no matter what way you apply it this foundation looks good like it's just a win 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 like situation I can't I can't think of one complaint about this. And I'm so excited to use this when I go back to school. I go to school in Atlanta and it's, oh Lord, it's about to be stinking doodle -doo hot when I get back. Like, wanna hang out in your drawers, hot, when I get back. So I know that I'm not gonna want something on my face that's just like, I would be melting off if I had a real foundation let's be honest so this is going to be amazing before we get into this section I just want to let you guys know that my name is Brie and I'm a shoeaholic Hi, <laughs> so that is like one of my issues like I need to do better shoes in a white shirt. I don't know what it is about white shirts. I don't know what it is. I have a problem. Shoes and white shirts. So, these. These little slides have been giving me the most life. They are absolutely adorable. Oh my god. Look at these, you all so random like they're not even real shoes i'm sure you guys thought i was about to come out with like the flyest pair of like heels or something they're not even like real shoes <laughs> i'm in love with them and i got these from urban outfitters i believe they were originally 20 dollars, but i got them for five them up they're clear and then they have all these like the lights are kind of like washing them out but they have all these little like specks and sparkles in them um they have like, gold silver um blue and pink sparkles in them so i've really been loving these wearing these with like jeans um leggings just whatever wore them to get my nails done my nail lady was obsessed with them <laughs> they're probably still at urban outfitters so if you guys really like these go pick yourself up a pair it's no shocker that because I like those slides, I bought them in another color. So I also bought them <laughs> in pink, and they're pretty much just the same thing. They are just pink, and they have the same little sparkles, or I just feel like everybody needs a pair of pretty pink slides. So we are almost done here. I am going to show you all my favorite read this month. I read I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings by Maya Angelou. Maya Angelou, however you <laughs> want to pronounce it. You know, I hear people say her name. 
both ways, but this book is amazing. It's one of those books that I feel like everyone should read at some point in their life. Everybody's gonna get something different out of it. You know what I mean? It's just so well written and she's just such a soulful person and such just like, oh, she just gives me like, so this is a great read. I read it when I was younger and obviously, you know, you read it, but you can't really appreciate it. And like I said, everybody's gonna get something different out of this. Everybody's gonna have a different perspective and you might read this multiple times and get multiple different things out of it. But definitely check out I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings if you have not. And last but not least, I'm going to do my favorite song for July. And Kill Jay-Z. They'll never love you, you'll never be enough. Let's just keep it real, Jay-Z. Kill Jay-Z um, on Jay-Z's new album. I know by now everyone has heard this song, these songs, but it makes me feel so hard. Like every time I listen to it, I feel like I should just be in like the hardest. <laughs> I don't know, but I've been loving it, been blasting it on the train, in the car, whatever. Kill Jay-Z has been on. My mom is actually oddly obsessed with the story of OJ. I don't know if it's uh, the fact that, uh, what's her name? Is it Nina Simone? Four women, yeah, Nina Simone, four women. That's what Jay-Z sampled. My skin is black. The song is really, really good too, the original song. Um, you know, obviously, story of OJ is really good. But Nina Simone's Four Women is really, really good. If you're into, you know, old singers or things like that, which I am, um, like, so for my, like, Billie Holiday, all that what? good <laughs> That is the end of my July Favorites video. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you like this video, comment on this video, and subscribe to my channel because I will be posting many, many more monthly favorites. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at I am Bree Perry. Until next time, I will see you all later. Who told me to talk to the family? Ooh, y'all. My shirt got the little boy from, uh, in love. This was my homie in the movie. <laughs> but, this my boy. I'm trying to film. And Cameron FaceTime me. Hi. <laughs> this is my cousin. He's like my brother. My annoying little brother. Okay. He gotta go.